What's up you guys? Welcome back to the Monkey Cave. So uh, we've been working on the Falcon and most of the lower suspension is completed. I painted a bunch of stuff underneath there. So what we've been waiting on is some parts to come from like Summit and, and a few other places. Uh, so right now we're going to get into basically uh, assembling the Willwood Pro Street brake setup for the rear. Uh, and that requires a lot of safety wiring. So I figured it was a great opportunity to show you guys uh, some tricks to safety wiring. So this is the diagram that they give you, some assembly instructions and whatnot. Uh, but the instructions might not be clear. Some people might struggle to understand that. I figure this is a great opportunity to show you guys some tricks to safety wiring. So uh, when you get the, the Willwood brake set up, it comes with the bolts. They're pre-drilled for the safety wire. All right, we have the black uh, rotors here. Oh man, this setup is so nice. Uh, and then of course, this is the top hat. So this is what gets bolted to the rotor here. This assembly goes like this, okay? And then each of those bolts is supposed to get safety wired or basically in twos. Uh, if you're real good at safety wire, you can do them all in one shot. I'm probably not that good. I'm a little out of practice. Um, but there are some like key key ways to safety wire that you should take into consideration. One of them is the, the whole concept of righty tighty lefty loosey, right? That you want to pull the bolt tight with the safety wire. If the safety wire is loose at all, it's not doing anything. Okay. And the bolt can come loose. Now the bolt might not back out, uh, but it can come loose. And anytime a bolt comes loose, uh, it immediately goes into shear when most bolts are designed to be in compression. So, uh, I'm going to, I'm going to basically assemble this and I'll show you guys how we get into it. All right, you guys, so we've got our assembly instructions here. All right, I like to use like a little rubber bolt like this just to hold my nuts and bolts so they don't get lost. So what we're going to do is we're going to we're going to open this up and let's start this process. So What I'm going to do is I'm going to put a piece of cardboard down so I don't scratch this really nice rotor. Work under the concept that these are race car parts, uh, so you're not trying to just uh, toss them around the shop and all of that. Take a little bit of extra precaution to uh, protect your customer's investment, right? This stuff is not cheap by any stretch. All right, you guys, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to assemble our hat here. Uh, nothing, nothing too unusual about this. Line up the bolts, all right? And they give you everything you need anyways. bolts are installed all right you guys so when it comes to safety wire um, you know obviously it's handy to have a set of safety wire pliers and safety wire right this is not the uh, most expensive stuff or any of that uh, but it will do the trick so uh, one of the things the safety wiring is is you've got a distance between the bolts here okay so You'll want to gauge that uh, in an approximation with your wire, and then you're going to basically double it up uh, and, and then some excess because when you twist it, the wire will get shorter in theory, right? Um, so almost like the triple uh, the length between the two bolts here. So I'm going to start with that right there. And then I'm just going to give some extra. <laughs> Right, it doesn't have to be special. Obviously, you don't want to be wasteful if you can help it, uh, but it doesn't take very much. So, especially when you're you're first learning. Now, if you take a whole lot, though, uh, it will want to fight you a little bit um, because you're going to use your safety wire pliers to, to pull and twist, and that is going to basically wrap the wire around the pliers. And if you have a whole bunch of extra wire, it's just kind of a uh, a pain in the butt. Okay, so. Uh, you need to understand the the rotation of the bolts, all right? And some are going to be uh, in difficult positions. So I've got this one 
and it's actually hitting the hat right there, okay? And not allowing it to, uh, to move. So I'm just gonna take a, a basic little, let me see if I can get a little on this bolt just enough. There we go. Get it through. There we go. want to pull it until they're about even give or take all right now if you look right here you can see that it's at an angle like this okay I'm gonna to go to this bolt right here okay uh, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull this one around underneath this one okay so the bottom one is gonna go underneath here and then I'm gonna twist them. Now you wanna ideally twist in the same direction that your, your pliers are going to pull, okay? If you're not familiar with safety wire pliers, they have basically a locking mechanism you can assemble right here, and then you will pull this handle back here, and it spins the pliers on a, like an acne thread inside of here, okay? So, these, if I pull them, pliers spin basically clockwise. Okay, so you want to kind of set it up so you're going in the same direction. So, by going underneath with this one, okay, and then you want to pull it tight, get your loop started essentially, okay. Now, your loop is going to look something like this, okay. Go to the next bolt, right? Okay, and you want to gauge right to the bolt and then remember it's going to shrink but you can always like twist a little extra uh, if you need to all right so pull this handle now uh -oh. sure feels like they gave me janky pliers here oh okay all right just so you can see I'm having to repair my safety wire pliers real quick. The, the handle right here was coming unthreaded. What I'm gonna do, all right, is I'm gonna add some Loctite to it. Uh, too bad I can't safety wire my safety wire plier. All right, we'll try this again. So. There we go. All right, now there is a count for how many twists you want, um, but usually if you just get it pretty close, give it a few, okay? Now, the other bolt is turned almost the same, so this is gonna be a difficult one, okay? So, this guy, and if you ever need, all right, if you go kind of an up and motion like I just did, you can get the safety wire tighter uh, in some spots, like right around the other set of holes right here. Okay. Now what you'll see here, okay, is, uh, all right. This one is looped around the same direction that the bolt pulls. This one was more difficult because I actually had to put the wire inside of there. That pulls the bolt tight. You see how the bolt will not pull loose. Even though it's almost straight, it's not quite. If it was straight, I would have had to loop around the bolt to the other side. Uh, but this one, I can get away with that right there. 